RC Davis here for Warriors TV with the newest warrior, Nemanja Nedevich. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm pretty excited, and I'm okay. You're a 6'3 guard out of Serbia, 22 years old. Uh, you're going to wear number 8. Uh, any significance to the number 8? You couldn't wear your normal 16. We've retired that for Al Adels. What's the significance yeah. of number 8? Uh, when, I was, when I started playing basketball, I, uh, that was my number. Number 8 was my number. Uh, I started wearing 16 when I signed my first professional contract, but number 8 is, my, is the, first, the first number I, 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 I was wearing. You were the 30th pick of Phoenix. How you got to the Warriors was Golden State uh, bought the number 26 pick from the T-Wolves, traded it to the Thunder for Malcolm Lee in the 29 pick, then traded both to Phoenix for number 30. Here you are. What were you doing on draft night? Uh, I, was, I was at home. I was supposed to be in New York, but I came back uh, one day earlier, and I was just at home with my, with my family and with my friends uh, following that, the, the NBA draft. And everybody went to sleep because it was it was getting a little bit uh, longer, and <laughs> so I was the only one only one watching the draft. And when when David Stern said, uh, said my name, I was running through my house and <laughs> waking up everybody. So I was I was really excited and really happy. There's a lot of uh, people from your uh, country there in Serbia that have. Uh, made the NBA, Vladi Divac, Peja, Marko Jaric, Redmanovic, Pavlovic, all these guys. Are these heroes and role models of yours? Yeah, of course. Uh, like I said, uh, I was the first game I watched of basketball was NBA game, so I'm following a lot the the NBA league and of course Serbian players there. But the thing that's interesting, uh, ten years. Nobody, nobody from from Serbia was was drafted in in first round. So uh, it's a great honor, uh, and of course, it's a great motivation to to work harder and to get better. Um, a lot of these guys from Serbia, they're uh, uh, they're big guys or they're shooters. No one quite like you uh, in the past. More of a, an athlete, attack the rim. Yeah. Who were some of your uh, roles then growing up? Anyone from your homeland? Uh, Sasha Djordjevic, he's like like a big hero in, in Serbia. Uh, he played for the Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia national team and he, he brought us so many medals and so many trophies. So I, I looked up to him a lot and he's for sure one of my idols. Has any of your older family or friends shared with you all the history of your war-torn country and all the things that Vladi and them had to go through? Yeah, 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 they did. Uh, uh, I think I it was a good thing that I grew up out of Serbia at that time because it was uh, it was a really hard time in Serbia, and I'm really really happy that things got better, and they 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 getting better every day. So I'm I'm really happy for that. You played for Lithuania in the Euro League last year. That's a tough league. You averaged ten points, three rebounds, a couple assists. Tell us how tough that league is. Uh, I played three leagues last year. I played Euroleague. I played VTB League, which is very strong with a lot of Russian, mighty Russian team, and Lithuanian League. And about Euroleague, I think uh, we don't have to talk much about it because it's the strongest league in Europe. Right. And I, I, I learned a lot from, from those games because I played against the, the best players on my positions and against the best teams. BT League was also very hard, also very good, uh, with a lot of uh, good teams, with a lot of money, with a lot, a lot of uh, good players, talented players. Uh, and of course, the 20 League, which has his, its own quality. So uh, it, was a, it was a successful year for me. And I really want to thank the Pusritas for, uh, for making my dream come true because if if they didn't sign me and if they didn't give me gave me room to play uh i probably i probably would not be here right now talking to you guys so uh i really really want to want to thank them have you ever crossed paths with lithuanian great and former warrior sharonis marcellonis uh yeah uh we we met in treviso this year this summer okay like uh two three weeks ago and we had a we had a 
uh, a small conversation. He he who he was congratulating me on on my season in Lithuania because he was following a lot, and it's for sure a great honor to speak uh, with a legend like like he is. You lived in Italy for a while. Your father played uh, handball. Is that when and where you really fell in love with the game? Uh, yes, yes, uh, exactly in Italy, in Ascoli Piceno, which is which is like eighty kilometers from from Rome. And that's when I started playing basketball. That's when my mom drove me to my first practice. And <laughs> from my first practice, I, I knew I'm going to play basketball to the rest of my of my life. Let's talk about your game a little bit. What do you think you can provide the Warriors right now? Uh, right now, I just want to bring new energy to the team. Uh, a lot of aggressiveness, attacking the rim, and of course, on the, on the under, other side, other end of the floor in the defensive end so I can only promise that I will work really hard to earn my minutes to earn my position in the roster so I don't expect nothing to be given to me and I think I can help uh, the team uh, with aggressiveness with attacking the rim and making the defense collapse. They say you're an incredible athlete your vertical is only one inch shorter than Ben McLemore and they said he's a world-class athlete They've dubbed you the Euro Derrick Rose. What do you think about all this attention for, uh, they're so shocked that you're this great athlete? Uh, yeah, uh, especially in Serbia. Uh, because like I said, 10, 10 years, nobody was drafted in the, in the, in the first round. And right now it's a, it's a big thing here. It's a big hype around me. So I'm trying to, to stay normal, not to think about it too much, but like you said, I'm I'm very athletic. Uh, I can run the floor really good, so I think people like to watch players like me, and maybe that's the reason. You grew up watching the NBA and NBA style ball there when you were in Italy. Uh, is that where you kind of got your explosive attack the rim game and in, in your handles? Uh, I think uh, my dad helped me a lot because he was. He was really explosive, and he had a great, uh, great vertical when he was young. Was handball. so I think I got it from him. Uh, you're pretty uh, familiar with the NBA. You watch a lot of games. What do you know about the Warriors and their style of play, their coaching philosophy? Uh, I follow the NBA a lot. It's a little bit hard because we have to wake up in here in Serbia. We have to wake up at three or four in the morning. Uh, but I followed I, fo I followed the Warriors a lot, especially the last year, which was great for the Warriors. Uh, they played two great two great rounds of the playoffs, and I'm pretty familiar with the team. I know the players. I don't know him. I don't know him like personally, but uh, I look forward to meet them. How many teams did you work out for during the draft process? Uh, four teams. Four teams. How'd they go? Uh, did you work out against? Who'd you work out with? Uh, I worked out in Detroit, Milwaukee, Atlanta, and uh, Cleveland. Okay. And I was going against uh, Ray McCallum mm -hmm. and Wender Blue. Uh, both of them great athletes, great players. And I was really excited and really happy to, to have a chance to work against against those guys. What was some of the feedback you got from the coaches? Any certain areas that you need to work on to get to the next level and, and succeed? Uh, everybody had positive comments. Uh, they followed me uh, through my whole season. So they pretty much knew uh, what my qualities are. Mm -hmm. So they had really, really a good, good words for me. And of course, they, they, they had a lot of, a lot of, I mean, a lot of things that, that helped me. They, they told me a lot, of, a lot of things that helped me, and I'm really thankful. What are you most looking forward to about the NBA? Uh, first of all, I want to get there. I want to I wanna meet my, my teammates. I want to meet the coaching staff and everybody from the Warriors. And I just want to see. I just want to see how the, how the NBA... Uh, how the NBA goes because I heard it's it's way way better than Europe so I'm looking forward to to meet my teammates first of all and after that I will I will look 
work really hard to, to earn my spot. Well, depending on when you come stateside, Summer League is up next. Will we see you in Las Vegas? Uh, I hope so. In the next few days, I will, I will uh, know more about it. But my agents and the people from the Warriors are working on it. So I hope uh, they will find the best solution. Well, welcome to the Warriors, and we'll hope to see you soon. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. For Nemanja Nenovic, I'm R.C. Davis for Warriors TV.